everything, but like just knowing that that we've grown so much, uh, you know, together and as a program and everything, it's, it's a really big deal. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. Does well, that bond you to must champ a little bit? Does that give you guys a little bit of a special bond? Uh, yeah, a little bit of one, um, just because you know I think it's I'm the first recruit and I'm a hometown guy and things like that. But I think the biggest thing is being a defensive guy because he's a defensive minded guy and he, uh, you know, he likes to get after it and he likes guys that like to get after it too. So that helps out a lot. On that note, you know, you guys, I mean, football's as disappointing as it is like rewarding at times. How, how tough a beat was that Florida game? I mean, you guys had them just on the ropes. And how just tough of a, a loss was that one? Uh, games like that where it, you know you should have won, they, those always hurt. And, um, you know, you sit there and go back and watch the film, and there's nothing you can do about it after it's done, but, you know, you watch the film and you're just trying to figure out, like, if we would have just did this or if that would have worked out this way, it'd be a completely different game. Was, was that the crushing one, though, last year? It seemed like maybe the wind kind of came out of you guys' sails a little down the stretch. Did that – where is there – they kind of seemed to, like, pick it up from that. Yeah. Um, I guess outside looking in, that, that could be what, what kind of happened. Um, I feel like guys just – it was one of those games that were like it, it I guess it kind of was like a defining moment for the team. But, you know, uh, after the game, after Sunday, it was flushed and guys were ready to go back out the next week. And, and the last thing, because it was well, any coach for the Gators? I mean, I know it's kind of ancient history for him, but it's almost like a bad breakup and you never really get over it. Um, do, you, do you guys want to win that beat, beat Florida for him? Yeah, definitely. that's always a game. You, know, you want to come out fired up against against them and just do your best and make plays and you know you want to you want to win that game as a, as a defense overall what, what is kind of the feeling and, and the mission coming off of last season and and do you feel like that you may be in a little bit of a good spot you know having a, all that room for improvement yeah I think the biggest thing that we had to improve on was just execution um, and that's on you know in all phases and all fronts uh, guys just you know there were a couple of times where we all had like mental lapses and things like that and just understanding how our defense works and the guys that we have on there. Like, execution will help us win those big games that we haven't been winning and just understanding like against those good teams, you know, Georgia and those guys and whoever, you can't allow them to, come, you know, keep making things happen and you don't stop them because they're too good to you know, come from behind necessarily and beat them. You've well, been what much time four years. Can you tell him about like one of the most funniest moments you have with him? <laughs> um, I mean, most of the funny moments are when he's spazzing, but it's not on you. So, like, if you see someone else, uh, could you describe one of those? There's a lot of yelling and, and spit, and he's just red, and he's just really mad. The vein, the vein, yeah. And then after that, he'll stare at you too. I'm pretty sure y'all heard about the stare, but that stare is uh, iconic. But I mean, I mean, there's always something like he says something, and, and it's always like something really sly. But he'll, you know, sneak something in and make you laugh. But uh, you know, it's, there's always something going on. Have you ever been on the other end of that stare? Not the stare. I've been uh, been yelled at. I got yelled at my, my freshman year, but. Um, I think the stairs are another level. <laughs> you, you mentioned those big games. What is your feeling on the game against Alabama? Are you excited about that? Yeah, um, you know, that's game three. And, you know, we, we're going to be ready just going into the season and looking at how guys are preparing and things like that. But I'm not trying to look too far ahead and, you know, jump to one game. But I'm, I'm sure everyone's excited. I'm excited for it. Um, you know, all we can do is prepare and go out and execute and make it, things happen. It was 2010, but did you watch the game? When, what, what do you remember about that game? It was loud. That was the biggest thing. Like, um, It was so loud. And just seeing like the, the crowd and the fans and everyone just go up after they won. Just the love that the fans have for the game Cox is like. It's unreal. It's second to none. <laughs> were, were you there? 
No, I wasn't oh, there. Okay. You just saw on the field. Yeah, I just saw it on TV. Um, Ma stays down the street. She doesn't stay very far from uh, from Five Points. So I remember being at her house when uh, when we when they won and just hearing like the crowd from the stadium all the way up there. And it was it was a really crazy day. How old were you at that point? Uh, Eleven or twelve. Okay. Is that the kind of the kind of moment that made you want to play college football? Is that no, just watching that game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, not really. But Mr. Champ was talking about the operations center, the new one that that it sort of kind of has a wow factor. What's the wow factor for you when you see that? What are you doing there? Uh, just coming from the old stadium to the new uh, facility, the fact that everything is in one spot it makes it very convenient. Um, before we had to walk around, you know, we had to walk over here to lift, and then we had to walk over here to the training room. And now that everything's centralized in one place, it makes everything so much more efficient. And you can get a lot more done in you know the same amount of time that it would have taken at the other uh, facility. Have you used the recording studio or the, or the barbershop? <laughs> um, I've been in the recording studio a couple of times. And uh, I've used the barbershop once. And I think uh, both of those things are, are really cool to have in the, the facility. And do you think it will make a difference in recruiting? Yeah. Um, yeah, it definitely. Yeah, it's just something like, and it it creates like a almost like a bonding session too, you know, with the recording studio and everything. But guys are able to you know make music with each other, and you're all up there, and it's something to do, and you get to do it with your brother while you're you know doing football stuff too. You know, I think y'all have like the the top schedule in the in the country this year uh, as far as toughness. You know, but you know, given all the teams y'all play, is Georgia being on the East still that game you circle that you know this is the one we we kind of look forward to the most? Yeah, I mean, it's all it's always a big game. Like, even being a Columbia native, like, you know, like before going coming to South Carolina, like, that's always a big game that that's, you know people are looking forward to. But um, like it's it's one of those games that you want to win. It's uh definitely another, almost like a rivalry. When you came from the run defense standpoint, y'all had t-shirts made up, I guess, for stats last year and goals for this year. What what does that do for you guys to kind of provide motivation? Um, it motivates us because we don't want to be in that position. You know, guys know, like we all know that we're better than what we put out. And the things that happened weren't necessarily what we wanted to happen, but you know, that's the game, adversity. And, how, how you bounce back from that. And looking at the film from last year, guys understand and they see like what we can improve on and what needs to be improved on so we can you know, have a better season. <laughs> People are buying in for that. What do you think y'all did improve on to, to make those steps? Um, watching film, like the film room is a big, big, big deal. Um, just getting those mental reps and being able to see it and understand what other offenses are trying to do to you. So it helps you not only play fast, but you can be in a, a better position to make plays. Who's got the best shoe game on the team? Currently, ooh. Like it used to be a, it was a, probably Debo last year, and I don't know. There's a lot of guys with shoes. Like that's why it's so hard. Like a, you know, that's something that the top three, top three, Sean Smith, Keir Thomas. Um, surprisingly. Kobe Smith has a lot of shoes. <laughs> Kobe has a lot of shoes, so those are probably the top three. That's surprising. Because it's Kobe. <laughs> you guys don't know Kobe. Kobe's so wild. He's a he's a good guy, like, but he's just he's always silly and acting crazy and stuff. And if you're thinking and, about releasing another NCAA game. If you're on that game, what'll be your rating? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like at this point, like with being underrated and stuff. I don't know. I'd probably be like a 50 or 60 Whoa. or something. What? I don't know. You like, would be here if you're a I 50 feel like, I feel like I should be maybe like an 80, 80, 86, 87. What would be your highest attribute? Mm. 
power. <laughs> Who's the strongest guy on the team? Sidarius, I guess. Sidarius Hutchinson is the strongest guy on the team, Who's, hands down. Who's, I guess, in the conversation beyond him? I mean, Ken Law's going to be up there. Yeah. He's massive. But, um, sure, I'm creeping up there. Yeah. I should